Hello and welcome back to Aviation Avi. Go where you feel the most alive. Today we'll be talking about declared distances. So let's get started. There are a few terms we should be aware of before understanding declared distances. To start with, what is a runway? A runway is a defined rectangular area on land aerodrome prepared for the landing and takeoff of an aircraft. So as you can see in the image, this is a runway and the beginning of that portion of the runway that is usable for landing is called the threshold of the runway. So this becomes the threshold of runway 2, 6. The next is the stopway. A stopway is a defined rectangular area on the ground and it is present at the end of takeoff run available which is also a declared distance which we will discuss in further slides and it is prepared as a suitable area in which aircraft can be stopped in case of an abandoned takeoff. Now this abandoned takeoff can be because of various reasons like technical failure, engine failure fire or various environmental conditions. So basically, at the end of takeoff run available for a runway, if there is a rectangular area provided which will cater to abandoned takeoff, then that rectangular area on ground is called the stopway. Next is the clearway. So a clearway is a defined rectangular area on ground or water. So a clearway can be located on ground as well as on water. This clearway should be under the control of appropriate authority and this area is selected and prepared as a suitable area over which the aircraft can make a portion of its initial climb up to a specific height. So clearway is basically a rectangular area which is provided at the end of Torah over which a aircraft can make a portion of its initial climb during takeoff up to a specified height and this area can be over ground and on water also. Now it is time we understand the declared distances. The following are the declared distances that are calculated for each direction of the runway. The takeoff run available or the TORA. The length of the runway declared available and suitable for the ground run of an aircraft taking off is called the TORA. The takeoff distance available or the TORA is the length of TORA plus the length of clearway if it is provided. Third is the accelerate stop distance available or the ASTA which is the length of TORA plus the length of stopway if it is provided. The fourth is the landing distance available or the LDA which is the length of TORA minus the length of displaced threshold like we discussed threshold is the beginning portion of the runway that is usable for a landing aircraft so if this threshold is displaced up to a certain distance in that case we subtract the length of the displaced threshold from tora to get the lda now the threshold can be displaced because of mainly three reasons when there are obstacles on the approach when the length of the displaced threshold is not capable of bearing the load of the aircraft or the pavement strength is not sufficient and third is when there are noise abatement procedures in place. Calculation of takeoff run available or TORA When the runway is not provided with clearway, stopway or the threshold is located at the extremity of the runway thus the length of displaced threshold is zero in that case, all the four declared distances for both the runway directions is equal. Let us understand this with an example. Let us consider this to be a runway 0110 with a length of 4000 meters. Let us consider the runway direction 01 for instance. This is the length that is available for takeoff run of an aircraft. So, this is our TORA that is 4000 meters. Now since there is no clear way at the end of runway 01, so the length of TODA is 4000 meters only. Now further, since at the end of runway 01 there is no stopway, 
the asda is also 4000 meters only and because there is no displacement of the threshold of runway 01 the lda of runway 01 remains same that is 4000 meters you can similarly calculate the distances for runway 10 as well moving on calculation of toda when the runway is provided with a clear way the toda will include the length of clear way let us understand this with an example here this is our runway 01 so when an aircraft is taking off in this direction it reaches the extremity and beyond this a clear way of 200 meters is provided then the toda for runway 01 becomes 4000 meters plus 200 meters which gives you 4200 meters as the toda for runway 01 further let us consider the same for runway 10 as an aircraft takes off in this direction it comes across a clear way of 500 meters at the extremity of runway 10 so the toda for this direction of the runway becomes 4000 meters plus 500 meters which is 4500 meters as you can see here rest of the distances remain same because there is no stopway so as da for both runway directions 10 and 01 remains the same and same is the landing distance available because there is no displacement of threshold in both the directions Next is the calculation of ASDA. When a runway is provided with a stopway, then ASDA will include the length of the stopway as well. So, let us consider for the runway direction 01. As an aircraft starts from the threshold of runway 01, at the end of runway 01 there is a stopway of 300 meters provided. So, this comes into account when we calculate the ASDA for runway 01. So, For runway 01 the asda becomes 4000 meters plus 300 meters which comes to 4300 meters for runway 01 Now for the direction of runway 10 at the end of runway 10 is a stopway of 800 meters so the total asda for runway 10 is 4000 meters plus 800 meters which is 4800 meters and the other three declared distances remains the same because we do not have any clear way or displaced threshold in either runway direction next we will be looking at the calculation of landing distance available which is self explanatory that is the distance available for an aircraft to land in a particular runway direction so when a runway has a displaced threshold then the lda will be reduced by the distance the threshold is displaced a displaced threshold affects only the lda for approaches that are made to that threshold and all the declared distances for operations in the reciprocal directions are unaffected so this is a very important point with which we will understand with this example suppose an aircraft makes an approach to runway 01 and finds that the threshold of runway 01 is displaced by 600 meters so rest of the distance that is there is available for the aircraft to make its landing so this becomes the landing distance available for runway 01 which is 4000 meters plus 400 meters which accounts for 4400 meters and this can also be understood as the entire length of the runway that is 5000 meters minus 600 meters that is the length of displaced threshold which is 5000 minus 600 meters which is 4400 meters let us consider the example where an aircraft makes an approach on runway 10 and finds that the threshold of runway 10 is displaced by 400 meters thus in this case the length of the runway available for landing is 4000 meters plus 600 meters which becomes 4600 meters which is also 5000 that is the total length of the runway minus 400 meters that is 4600 meters so i hope we are clear with all the four declared distances 
Now let us combine all the situations in one runway and try to calculate the declared distances for both the runway directions. In all these examples, we have assumed that the length of the runway for which the threshold is displaced has a strength enough to bear the weight of the aircraft. So let us calculate the declared distances for runway 1129 here in the example. Now since we know that declared distances are calculated for each runway direction, so let us consider the direction of runway as 1, 1 to start with. So Tora in this case is the length of the runway that is available and suitable for an aircraft to make its ground run. So since this portion of the runway can also be used for the aircraft to make a portion of its ground run. Tora starts from here, that is 645 meters plus 3465 meters, which gives us a distance of 4110 meters. So, this becomes the Tora of runway 11. Now, let us calculate the Tora, that is, takeoff distance available, which also includes the provision of clear way if it is provided for the runway. Now, since if we see for runway 11, there is no clear way provided. So, in this case, the TODA becomes 4110, that is the TORA plus 0, that is 4110 meters. The third declared distance being ASDA, that is accelerate stop distance available, which includes the length of stopway when provided. So, again, let us start from direction of runway 11. So, it becomes 645 meters plus 3465 meters that is the Tora of the runway plus 320 meters which is top way given for runway 11. So the ASDA for runway 11 becomes 4110 plus 320 that is 4430 meters. Now let us take the fourth declared distance that is the landing distance available. Let us consider an aircraft is coming into land on runway 11. It finds that the threshold of this runway is displaced by 645 meters. So, the landing distance available in this case becomes the Tora that is 4110 meters minus 645 meters that is 3465 meters. Now, let us consider the declared distances for runway 29er. The first being Tora. For runway 29er, since the stockway provided for runway 11 can be used by an aircraft that is taken off on runway 29er, the Tora for runway 29er starts from this location. So, the length of Tora for runway 29er includes the stopway of 320 meters, the portion of displaced threshold for runway 29er, plus the length here, plus 645 meters of displaced threshold of runway 11. So, the total length becomes 4430 meters as you can see here now let us calculate the second declared distance that is TODA that is takeoff distance available for runway 29er the TORA for runway 29er starts from here as an aircraft takes off it follows this path and then comes across a clear bay of 350 meters so the takeoff distance available in this case becomes a total of 4430 meters plus 350 meters which gives 4780 meters as you can see here now the third declared distance being accelerate stop distance available which includes the length of stopway if it is provided for runway 29er there is no provision of stopway at the end of runway 29er so so the third declared distance in this case becomes that is 4430 meters plus 0 that is 4430 meters this becomes the ASDA for runway 29. The fourth declared distance that is LDA let us consider an aircraft is coming into land on runway 29 it finds that the threshold of runway 29 is displaced by 1460 meters so in this case the landing distance available for this aircraft is 4430 meters minus the length of displaced threshold that is 1460 meters that is 2970 meters so this is a calculation of 
all the four declared distances associated with this runway 11 to 90 you will be amazed to know that you have just calculated the declared distances of runway 11 to 90 of delhi international airport other than the provision of clear way of 350 meters which i had added for your understanding so this brings us to the end of the video i hope you are clear with the concept of declared distances do like share and subscribe if this video helped you in clearing your concepts and let us know down in the comment section below what more videos you'd like to watch do visit our website aviationavi.com go where you feel the most alive